Well, welcome to St. Joe comes this morning as we gather together for our morning service. We celebrate today the memorial of St. Paul of the Cross, uh, a priest who spent his entire life praying to God and to Jesus on the cross. So let us now greet them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate this sacred mystery. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. May the priest St. Paul, who only love was the cross, obtain for us your grace, O Lord, so that, eager on more strongly by his example, we made each embrace of our own cross with courage. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. You may be seated as we listen to the word of God. A reading, a reading from uh, the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you were at, at that time without Christ, alienated from the community of Israel and strangers in, a, in the covenants of promise. But now in Christ Jesus, you who once were far off have become near by the blood of the cross. For he is our peace. He made both one and broke down the dividing wall of enmity through his flesh, abolishing the law with its commandments and legal claims that he might create in himself a new person in place of the two, thus establishing peace and might reconcile both with God in one body through the cross, putting that enmity to death by it. He came and preached peace to you who were far off and peace to those who were near. For through him, we both have access in one spirit to the Father. So then you are, you are no longer strangers and sojourns, but you are fellow citizens with the Holy Ones and members of the household of God. Built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets with Jesus, with Christ Jesus himself at the capstone. Through him, the whole structure is held together and grows into a temple sacred in the Lord. In him, you also are being built together into one dwelling place of God in the spirit. The word of the Lord. The Lord speaks of peace to his people. The Lord speaks of peace to his people. I will hear what God proclaims, the Lord. He, is, he proclaims peace. Near indeed is his salvation to those 
who fear him, glory dwelling in our land. The Lord speaks of peace to his people. Kindness and truth shall meet. Justice and peace shall kiss. Truth shall spring out of the earth and justice shall look down from heaven. The Lord speaks of peace to his people. The Lord himself will give his benefits. Our land shall yield its increase. Justice shall walk before him and salvation along the way of his steps. The Lord speaks of peace to his people. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Be vigilant at all times and pray that you may have the strength to stand before the Son of Man. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A read from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Gird your loins and light your lamps, and be like servants who await the master's return from a wedding, ready to open immediately when he comes and knocks. Blessed are those servants whom the master finds vigilant as his, on his arrival. Amen, I say to you, he will gird himself. Have you recline at table and proceed to wait on them? And shall he come in the second or third watch and find them prepared in this way? Blessed are those servants. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today we celebrate the memorial of St. Paul of the cross. He was a priest, but he, even from the time he was a young man, helping his father in his business, he worshiped Christ on the cross. He desired to have a perfect life and renouncing his inheritance, began to serve the poor and the sick, gathering people together for such work. He made a new order. He became a priest and toiled very zealously for the salvation of souls, finding house, exercising the apostolates, afflicting severe penance on himself. He died in Rome on October the 18th, 1775. This was a man who spent his life worshiping Christ. And it goes very much today with our reading from Luke that talks about the master, Jesus, saying to his disciples, gird your loins and light your candles and be like a servant waiting for the master to come back from a wedding. He wants us to be ready each and every day. I think my question to you today, are you ready? Are you ready for Jesus to come back, come back into this world? Or are you still preparing for that? Jesus is asking us today to be always ready for his second coming for we do not know when that's going to happen. And we don't want to find ourselves not ready for that and be left behind. So today in Luke's gospel, he tells us, be ready at whatever time it is, whether it be the first or second or third watch, and be prepared that whenever Jesus does come back, he will find us prepared and welcome and ready to welcome him. God bless each one of you. And now let us stand for our prayers of the faithful. Let us pray now for the needs of the world and for the strength and courage to respond. 
for the church that we may respond to the call to build a beloved community dedicated to healing and justice. We pray to the Lord. For all those who share in the mystery of this parish community, may we bring compassion and understanding to all those in need. We pray to the Lord. For our elected leaders, that they may be inspired by the hope found in peace and work to end violence in all its forms. We pray to the Lord. And for those struggling with afflictions and mental, health and mental healing conditions, may they find hope and may they work towards greater understanding and the decrease of stigma. We pray to the Lord. And we pray today, Lord, for vocations to the church, for the priesthood, and for religious life. We pray to the Lord. Gracious God, hear our prayers of, our, of your faithful people and provide us the peace and comfort that only you can offer. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Who to the earth and work of human hands, it may become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. And blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Who the divine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hand for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Look upon the sacrificial gifts, of, gifts we offer, Almighty God, in communication with St. Paul of the Cross, and grant that we who celebrate the mystery of the Lord's Passion may imitate what we now reenact through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the long marvelous confession of your saints, you made your church fruitful with strength ever new, and offering us sure signs of your love, and that in your saving mystery may be fulfilled 
Their great example lends us courage. Their fervent prayer sustains us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving you thanks, He broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bringing her into the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Myron, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace upon our day, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin 
and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The power and glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God. Lamb of Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. O oh God, who in St. Paul, who's wonderful made knowledge of the mystery of the cross, graciously grant that drawing strength from this sacrifice, we may cling faithfully to Christ and labor in the church for the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you, and may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, go in peace. And now let us pray the prayer of St. Michael. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle, be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thy, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, and by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits 
who prowl about the world for the ruin of souls. Well, have a blessed day. God bless you.